Welcome back to my channel. Last night I uploaded a video talking about how I got rid of $10,000 worth of debt in four months and it's gone crazy to the point where I posted in some um, entrepreneurial female groups and I had so many people commenting saying, yes, please send me the spreadsheet. Now, um, what I've noticed is a lot of people have debt and a lot of people don't know how to get out of debt and you also don't know how to use a spreadsheet. So what I'm going to do now is I just thought I'd upload a really quick simple straightforward video showing you how to create a spreadsheet and I guess because the video that I uploaded yesterday obviously shows my details in there I didn't show you how I really create the formulas they are really basic and you'll be able to do this as long as you have access to Excel um, so yeah I thought we'd jump into my computer and I will just show you how to create your very own budget I've had so many messages over the last 24 hours of people messaging being like God, I really wish I never got this loan, or I should never bought that car, or I hate that my afterpay is so high. Like, it is so easy to get a loan these days, but it is so fucking hard to pay back debt. And this is why I encourage everyone to get on top of their debt. Do not feel bad about yourself for having debt. Do not feel down in the dumps at all. Don't be hard on yourself. Switch it around. Think of the positive, and the positive being that you are now actively going to work on your debt and you're going to figure out a plan to repay it. So, Without further ado, let's jump into Excel and I'm going to show you exactly how to create a spreadsheet. Okay, I am now in my spreadsheet and I've just created three very quick fields. The first one being debts in A1, expenses in D1 and income in G1. Now, if you're wondering where those letters and numbers are coming from, the letters are up the top here and the numbers are down the side here. I'm going to try and keep this all on one page to try and make it as easy as possible and I'm going to keep this super basic so it's very easy and straightforward for you to look at, go back on and figure out exactly how to get on top of your debt. So the first column A1, write in all of your debts. So let's say you have a car loan and let's say it's $1,200. Let's say you have a credit card and it's $600 and let's say you have an afterpay account say $800 because you've been doing some shopping in ISO. Now um, I want you to go ahead and write down all of your debts in those columns as much down as you need. If you've got 15 different debt accounts write them in there. Go and do that now and then pause the video and come back once that's done. What we're then going to do is tally. So once you've got all your debts in I want you to make a field that says total and what we're going to do is get the total of this. Now you could go through and add all of that up, but Excel is very switched on and does it for you. All you need to do is highlight from the top down into the field where you want the total to go. And then up here, click on auto sum. Auto sum then does the math for you. So you can see it's tallied that. Now I'm just gonna highlight that bold and let's make it a light blue color. So I can see this person has a debt of $2,600. <clears throat> now. Let's move to D1 expenses. I want you to go around. I want you to go through your spread. I want you to go through your bank statements and write down every single expense that's come out of your account for the last month. So I'm just going to reel some off the top of my head. Rent, um, phone, insurance, food, petrol. Um, let's say you have a Netflix subscription. Netflix. Um, let's say you have Spotify. Um, let's say you have Uber Eats, um, let's say you've got Kmart, shopping, trip, um, bills, we need to add bills in there, um, a magazine, subscription, and let's say weekly coffees, let's put that in there too. So you might have heaps more, again, pause the video, go and do that, and then come back. Once you've done all of that in, and as you're going, you can add in all the totals. I'm just going to add them in separately now. So let's say this person rents for, I don't know, 250 a week. Phones, $40 a week. Insurance is, oh, again, with expenses, put in whatever time frame you want. So I'm going to use weekly for this person. If you get paid monthly or however you want to do it, do it that way. I'm doing it weekly. Insurance, let's say $50 a week. Food, let's say $100. Petrol, I'm going to say $40. Netflix, I think it's like $12 a month, so I'm going to go $4. I'm going to do the same for that. Now, let's say Uber Eats weekly you're spending like $80. Um, let's say you've got a Kmart shopping trip and it's been $100 in the week. 
um, bills, I'll say $50, magazine subscription, $10 a week, and weekly coffees. Let's say you spend $30 a week on weekly coffees. Now, we're gonna do a sum again where we total everything. So again, we're gonna copy everything down, including the bottom field, and we're gonna click on auto sum. And I'm just gonna write total in here. And we're going to highlight that in bold and color it so it stands out. So already we can see that you've got debts of $2,600 and you've got your total expenses weekly is $758. Is $758. Once you've done this expenses, I want you to go in and highlight anything that you could get rid of that isn't a necessity. So for example, Netflix, Spotify, Uber Eats, Kmart shopping trip, magazine subscription, and weekly coffees. I'm going to highlight all of them. Let's highlight them green. Now, currently your total is 758. So I'm just going to write this down so you don't remember, don't you remember it. I'm just going to write this down here so you remember it. Current expenses. Current expenses. So... What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you something. So because this formula is already in place, tallying everything here into this field here, if I remove all of these things that we could get rid of, look, look what your, look what your new expenses are. So if we add this in here, new expenses, $530. That's a big difference. So automatically you have removed so much of your weekly expenses. Now this, now I'm going to show you how to create a different formula. So what you can do is click on the field where you want the formula to go. And we're going to hit equals on our keyboard. And I'm going to click current expenses minus our new expenses. $228. So instantly, with just going through this expenses budget, you have already showed that you could save an extra $228 by removing some of the things that you don't really need. Like, yes, Netflix is nice, and yes, ordering Uber Eats and not having to cook is fantastic, but if you want to get rid of your debt, you could get rid of these things. Now, let's pretend we're going to keep it as the $530. So we're going to say your new weekly expenses going forward is $530. Now let's look at your income. So let's say your income sources, let's say you've got two income sources. Let's say you've got a full-time job and <clears throat> weekly, whoop, full-time job and weekly there you clear, let's say $950. Again, I'm making all of this up. I don't know what you clear, who cares? You just put in your data. This is just an example. Let's say you have a side gig of dog walking and let's say dog walking brings in an extra... $150 a week. Again, we're going to do an auto sum. So we're going to total that and go auto sum total. So again, we'll highlight this, make it look all nice. Okay. Now that we've figured out our debts, our weekly expenses and our income, we can figure out what's left over and how soon we can pay off our debt. So I'm going to put a um, title in here. Um, what's left over and underneath it, we're going to put in our income. And that was the 1,100, which is made up of the full-time job and dog walking. Underneath it, we're gonna put in our weekly expenses, which was the $530 that was previously 758, but we reduced it down after we cut out all of that extra shit that we just don't need while we're paying off our debt. That little eye is annoying me, so I'm going to do that. Now, we're going to create a formula and the total of the formula is going to equal um, total remaining each week. So to create a formula, what we're going to do is hit equals on your keyboard and we're going to click on the amount for the income minus the... 530 weekly expenses. So what this shows is that we have $570 at the end of each week that should be left over after we've paid all of our weekly expenses. So that $570 can then go towards your debt. Now we're going to create a new um, title called how long to pay off debt. Again, keeping this nice and simple. So what we're going to include here is the um, total remaining each remaining each week which was the 570 from the calculation we just did above and then we're also going to include our debt so the total debt we have was 2600 made up of the car loan credit card and afterpay and now we're going to create a formula that's going to tell us 
how many weeks it will take to pay off debt. Okay, I hope this isn't confusing anyone. If it is, I apologize. Now, what we're gonna do is create a formula that's equals, and we're gonna use our debt amount divided by the total remaining each week, which is our leftover money after our expenses are paid. So what this gives us is 4.56. What that means is it's gonna take four and a half weeks to pay off your debt of $2,600 if you contribute $570 towards your debt. Now, what this doesn't take into consideration is bank fees and interest. So obviously they are additional things you need to factor in depending on what your setup is. But this just gives you a really good idea to see how soon you could pay this off if you're putting absolutely everything into it. Now, this might not suit you. You might only wanna contribute $400 each week to your debts because you want $170 out of that 570 to play with. You've gotta figure out what's right for you. But for me, when I did mine, I wanted to get rid of my debt ASAP because the sooner I got rid of it, the sooner the more money was mine and I wasn't paying interest on shitty little repayments. So once you've done all of this, um, I hope this is making sense so far. What I have created to in sheet two down here is how to track your repayments. So this is how I tracked it. And this is what keeps you accountable. So each little step in this creating this budget is important. And this last part of tracking your repayments is super important. So what I've done here is just created something very basic. So all I've done is put in today's date and I've put in all of the different loans that I have and I've put in the total of those loans. Now, in a week's time, what I wanna do is I wanna go back in here and I wanna input what the loans are at now. So hopefully as of next week, each one of those will have gone down and I'll have a new total. So let's pretend the car loan ends up being 1,190, the credit card is now 400, the afterpay is now 600. If we do a new total, again, using highlighting them all and going auto sum, our total debt is now 2,190, which is a hell of a lot better than 2,600 the week before. So each week you should be able to input or each pay cycle, whether you're getting paid weekly, fortnightly or monthly, you should be able to see a reduction in your debt amount. And something as simple as this is key. Um, I hope this has helped you. If you do have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll answer them. I'm sure if you've got questions, probably a lot of other people do as well. Um, and I am more than happy to help. It's just best to keep it on this one thread. So thank you for watching this video. I really do hope it helps. I've had so much positive feedback from people from my last video um, of how I got rid of my $10,000 of debt five years ago. Um, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.